Hello, welcome to my first Unreal Engine 4 tutorial where we're going to make uh, our character when it runs into an object we're going to make both the object and the character explode and the person will start back at the beginning of the game uh, it's fairly simple here now here I'm using Unreal Engine 4 4.12.5 so I think this is the newest version that's out right now and um, let's see let's get going um, alright when you first open it up create your create your uh, new game or whatever new project this is what you're gonna see I use the third person uh, template and we're gonna go into our uh, blueprints and we're going to go into our third person character. We we'll double click this and now we're into our blueprints. And this is where I'm going to uh, add everything so that when our character does hit something, our character is going to, uh, we're going to disable the input, character is going to blow up, it's going to make a sound, uh, make an explosion, visual, and and it's going to wait a couple seconds and it's going to start all over, start the level over again. Alright, in the blueprints, uh, we're going to forget all this and we're going to right click on the background and let's see, we're going to go custom event and we're going to add a custom event. Uh, you see them in here? And now I'm going to name this uh, death. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, left click with my mouse and I'm going to drag a line out. And then I'm going to type in disable input. And it should be right there. We'll click on that. And there we go. So when this custom event happens, uh, we're going to disable the user's input. And then we're going to left click and drag again and we're going to go spawn emitter at location now this is where we're going to get our explosion and we're going to our asset and click on the drop down we'll go to p explosion and the location uh, let me see whoops we're going to right click and drag off and we're going to do get actor get actor location right down here at the bottom okay get actor location and now we're going to try and keep these so that they look fairly neat alright and to move our screen we're going to right click on the mouse hold down the button and move the screen around so we can see we're going to left click and drag off there again and we're going to go uh, spawn sound at location now we're going to need a location for the sound so we're just going to right click off the get actor location and we're going to bring that right up there along with the location of the sound now we're going to drop down and I'm going to go explosion Q for the sound all right now uh, uh, this is going to create our explosion sound and it's going to make the explosion visual and now we're going to uh, set the visibility of the actor we're going to uh, make it so that you can't see the character anymore so uh, set visibility set visibility right there targets gonna be self and now we're going to drag off here again and we're gonna go we're gonna have a delay delay we're gonna make that two seconds Oops. Let me put it two, two, and now uh, to start the game over, 
after he dies. We're going to drag off here. And we're going to do execute console command. Right there. And inside the command, right here, we're going to type in restart level. Alright, so let's make this a little bit smaller and we'll go through this real quick. So when our new function is called, uh, whenever or our event, whenever we run into something, well, we're going to make a rock. And every time we run into the rock, hit the rock, it's going to call this custom event. We're going to disable the input of the user, so the input can't continue to move on. We're going to uh, spawn an emitter, which is going to be our explosion visual and we're going to need a location for it so we get the actor's location of where we are at that moment and that's where it's going to spawn our explosion it's also going to spawn the sound of our explosion and we're going to set the visibility to the user we're going to uh, make him disappear we're going to wait two seconds and then it's going to start start the level over again all right now we're going to compile that set visibility uh, oh I think I have to do like a, a mesh here get mesh there we go and this will get the mesh of our character and that will take the visibility and set that to nothing alright now let's go back to our third person example here and to create the thing that we're going to run into, we're going to right click down here. We're going to go up to Blueprint Class. I'm going to choose Actor. And here you see we have it right down here, and I'm just going to name it Rock. Okay. And now we'll double click on Rock. And oh, let me see, I'm going to put this up here with the rest of my stuff. Rock. Now over here on the side left hand side we're going to go to add component and I'm going to type in static static mesh right there and we'll name this um, rock 2 alright now let's take a look now we still don't have any rock over here but over on the right hand side here we have this static mesh. So I'm going to go down, I'm going to choose my rock from here. I'm just going to type in rock and I come back with an SM underscore rock. I'll double click there and there's my rock. Okay, and I believe that that is all I'm going to need right there. Now, let's go back out now that we've created our rock let's go back out and we're just going to take oh third person character why is that looking like a rock anyway let's try and play this real quick no i still got my third person character looking like character okay now i'm going to go to this rock and i'm just going to drag it out here somewhere and Let's see. I'll move around. I'll move him and the rock around. We'll put that rock right back. Oh, we'll say, say there somewhere. Um, I'll move it back here. We we'll use the little arrows to drag it wherever we want. Now. When we did, when we created this rock, we created a class, and this is very good. You'll see how easy it is to make other rocks, put the same object out there, and it'll keep keep the same uh, code. You know, all these rocks will act the same. Every time you hit one of them, you'll explode. So now let's take a look inside our rock. Here we'll go back to our rock tab. And we're going to go to the event graph. Oh, let me make sure it's selected. Yep, and there we go. 
and all this stuff you're not going to need any of that so we'll just go down here we're going to right click and since the rock is selected now we have a few things that are associated with the rock that we can do uh, add event for rock we're going to drop that down we're going to drop down collision and on component add on component hit right there okay now that we have the add uh, on component hit we're going to um, hit we're going to drag a wire out from other actor and now we're going to cast two cast two uh, third person character this is going to make sure that it's our character that's hitting this component and now we're going to drag out again and we're going to do uh, we're going to type in death and there we go and there's our event for our death if the third person character is the one that hits the rock okay so we'll just hit that target I believe right now is going to be self um, now we're going to drag another wire out of here Oops. drag another wire out of here and we're just going to go destroy actor okay and there we have it right here destroy actor and this should be the whole thing this this should take let me tidy this up a little bit now when our character runs into the rock we have the on component hit it's going to detect that we hit the rock and it's going to make sure that the person or the third person character is the one that hit the rock and then it's going to call the death event which is going to start our, our the death of our person that we just put in right here and and then it's going to destroy the actor and let's see let's make sure that this is working oh let me see death maybe I need to go oh as third person there we go yeah, as the third person, then we're going to do our death. Okay, now compile that. Now let's see, let's play this and make sure we'll run around a little bit. Jump. Now we're going to go over here and we're just going to jump on our rock. Nope. Alright, didn't work. There is something that I do need to do. I do need to make turn collision on for that rock so let's go to this rock here we can go to the viewport here select it um, doo -doo 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 -doo. oh yep I'm gonna go to this rock over here static mesh double click on it I'm gonna come over hit collision uh, doo -doo. Auto convex collision. Let's see what that is there. Collision. Um, convert boxes to convex. Let's see if that's it. Mm. Should even convert all box. No. What? Let's do an apply here. Okay, let's save this. Now, let's go back in and see if it works now. Play. And there we go, it does work. So that's what we need to do, add collision to our rock. Awesome. So that was pretty easy. All we had to do was run into that rock and we die. Give it two seconds and the game starts over from the beginning. There we go. And nothing else will kill you. You can do run into whatever you want, jump on. But if you hit that rock, you're gonna die. Alright. One more thing I did want to show you. And that was how um since we made this this rock a class 
class level. Now we can drag out more rocks and put them wherever. Let's go. Let's see here. Let's drag this over here. And let's hold down our Alt key. And we'll drag an arrow, so we're going to duplicate another one. We'll bring this over. Uh, let's take a look and see where that went. Alright, that's over in the corner. Okay, now we're going to play this. And since it's class level, no matter how many of these objects that we bring out, uh, that we've already created, it's going to keep all the properties. And every time you hit one of these, it's going to... Uh, do the same thing for all. We're gonna, it should explode and kill you every time that you hit one of these. So this is, this is an easy way to, to add things to your games. Uh, create them as class, class level blueprint and you only gotta code the once. You only gotta make the blueprint once and you're all set. Alright. Please like and subscribe, and uh, as I said, this is my first Unreal Engine tutorial. Uh, I've got some more to come. We're going to be covering some pretty cool stuff. Alright, thanks, bye.